Hello viewers, welcome back to your favourite daily devotional, it's Rhapsody of Realities. Now today is the first Saturday of the month of October and of course we're here in the lovely London Eye and it's been such a great experience to mm -hmm. uh, present the Rhapsody of Realities right here from London, the United Kingdom. Now, again, Linda, it's just been such an awesome time, isn't it? We've had an amazing time, yes, wow. we have. And today's article is just so packed with such a powerful word by a woman of God, Pastor Anita. And she talks about the gains of diligence today. And she says here, God will bless whatever you do and give you the advantage if you are faithful and diligent. Amen. As a politician, civil servant, business person, or a student, be diligent and you'll be ahead of your peers and comp competitors. You know, you don't need to wait until uh, you become a lawyer. You don't need to wait until you become an accountant, Amen. an engineer. Uh, right from when you're a student, you need to start becoming diligent it's, uh, so that it becomes second nature to you. You know, diligence is something actually that is already the nature of uh, those that are born again. Yes, so you true. need to make sure that you follow that nature and it becomes uh, a habit. It becomes something that you do naturally. Mm. So you just, uh, you know, you just take advantage of what is inside of you already and uh, you look at things properly. Don't yeah. look at them on the go. Yes. Um, do your job properly. Anything that's been entrusted to you uh, in your ministry, in your church, um, in your family, Yes. Uh, anything, just do it with diligence, do it with excellence, have I mean, an excellent spirit. Amen. There's another word that's been used here as well, it's faithful. Yes. And they sort of go hand in hand, you know, to be faithful in everything that you do. You know, even if it's something very small, if you're faithful in that, God will increase that in your life. And it's so important because God, God can only use a faithful person. That's if right. you're unfaithful, he cannot use an unfaithful person, but if you are faithful, he will give you more and more and more, and he will take you to the top. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, she, you know, I just want to repeat again that she says here, you'll be ahead of your peers and, and competitors. competitors. Praise God. Amen. You know, that just propels you ahead, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. Just being diligent. Make sure that that change happens from the inside of you. Yes. I know a lot of us uh, want to... Um, see great changes in our lives but you know diligence is what you need to do to get there hallelujah praise God you know it's a, it's a great uh, personality streak to have isn't it yes, it's a great it is. characteristic Absolutely. to have being steadfast being excellent and diligent and faithful praise God praise God it goes on to say the Bible says the hand of the diligent shall bear rule but the slothful shall be under tribute wow. That's Proverbs 12, 24. That means the man who is diligent will always be the boss of the one who is not. Well, that's quite a, a powerful statement, isn't it? The, that means the man who is diligent will always be the boss of the one who is not. Who is not. Wow. So if you want to get ahead, you know what to do. Be <laughs> diligent. diligent. And Amen. you know what? That starts with being diligent, studying the Word of God. Word of God, God. yes, absolutely. Ensure perfection in what you do and be forthright. Faithfully and diligently execute assigned tasks and don't despise the responsibilities given to you, irrespective of how menial they might seem. And the Lord will surely promote you. Hallelujah. It says in Luke 16.10, He that is faithful in that which is the least is, all, is faithful also in much, and he that is unjust in least is unjust also in much. That is a one powerful scripture, isn't it? Do you know, even if uh, you clean the toilets, absolutely, be faithful in, in that. what you do. Yes, because God will always promote you when you're faithful. Whatever your job you do, you know, even if it's a voluntary job, I've done many, many voluntary jobs. Uh, you know, my daughter's preschool and for running errands for people and just, you know. But God will always meet your need, and God will always promote you. And, and you know, never say because um, this job that I'm in, um, this task that I'm doing is just such a small task. It doesn't Amen. really matter. Amen. It does matter. Yes. Because you know, the Bible says just in this verse that Pastor Anita just quotes in Luke 16 verse 10. It says that if you are faithful in the small things in life, you will be faithful and God can trust you with much. Amen. Uh, and and that's just so, so important to be faithful in the little things in life. Yes, And true. you know, that's how you'll get promoted. Absolutely. 
What an amazing message it is today. It's been a real blessing. It has been a real blessing for me. I'll, I'm, I, will go, I will make sure that I'm going to go through this scripture today Amen. again. Praise God. And uh, I will just meditate on the words because yes. it's really important. Yes. Amen. Now, viewers at home, I know you have been so, so blessed with Rhapsody of Realities. We have a very powerful prayer coming up very soon, right after the break. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. You are watching Rhapsody of Realities daily devotional program. Stay tuned. As the sun rises, a new day is born a new opportunity given, an opening to make a change, a chance to make it better. Because our lives are defined by our choices. Every day with Rhapsody of Realities counts in making that great future. Get your October edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Call now to place your order or order online at www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. Rhapsody of Realities, giving your day a lift. The Rhapsody of Realities devotional study Bible has special features to aid an effective Christian life. Features like Center Column References Words of Christ in Red 96-page Concordance to the Old and New Testament This special Bible also features full-colored pages of inspirational articles from Pastor Chris and Pastor Anita that will position you for a life of all-round success every day. So, for a most fruitful Bible study time, get the Rhapsody of Realities devotional study Bible today. You can call now to start placing your orders or visit our website, www.christembassyonlinestore.org. The Rhapsody of Realities devotional study Bible is a must have. Welcome back viewers. Before the break, we were talking about the gains of diligence and how important it is to be diligent in all that we do, to be faithful in whatever job or task you've been asked to do. You know, I know that you have been blessed as we have been blessed, Ingrid, yes. And we're going to pray a prayer with you. So if you'd like to join us at home, say, Dear Father, Dear Father, I thank you for granting me I thank you for granting me supernatural wisdom, supernatural wisdom and ability and ability to always do things right the first time. To always do things right the first time. I thank you for granting me. I thank you for granting me the the grace for perfection, the grace for perfection as I diligently carry out as I diligently carry out the responsibilities the responsibilities you've committed to me you've committed to me in Jesus name in Jesus name amen amen well, amen we had a slow time we've had a marvelous <laughs> time here in the London Eye we've had a beautiful time to share the word of God praise God hallelujah now make sure you uh, you read and meditate on the further study and uh, we have three uh, key scriptures here amen. and that's in Proverbs 21 verse 5, Proverbs 13 verse 4, 2 Corinthians 8 verse 22. Wow. Wow, it's amazing. Uh, it's just been an amazing work today. And yes. uh, I know I've gained so much insight to Amen. the word on yes. diligence and being diligent. Amen. Just been extraordinary. And make sure to read the story of David because David has been such an extraordinary man and such an extraordinary blessing to read about him being diligent and him being excellent in everything. Amen. We also have a one-year Bible reading plan if you are joining us and following us. It's Philippians 4, verses 4 to 23, and Isaiah chapters 23 and 24. We also have a two-year Bible reading plan, and that's Hebrews 1, verses 1 to 14, and Lamentations 2. Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, wow, I know uh, you have really enjoyed today's article. And make sure you tune in again. 
Now, until we meet again, keep reading your Rhapsody of Realities. I love my Rhapsody